Hello friends, Kenji Numatanomi Egashira here with a box of Hour of Devastation. The new set is upon us, the hour is upon us, and we're going to open some packs and see what we get. Stay tuned. Unquenchable Thirst, good blue removal spell that has synergy with deserts, Solitary Camel, Open Fire, good red removal spell, a very high pick, probably pick one pack, one would be fine. Countervailing Winds, fine cycling counter, another desert synergy, Wretched Camel, Harrier Naga, 3-3 three, three for 3, perfectly fine filler. Feral Prowler, eh, not so great. Here's a desert. All the deserts are very playable in Draft or Sealed. Take them highly, I think. Um, and again, if you get the payoff cards, it's real nice. Graven Abomination, Striped River Winder. First uncommon, Sunset Pyramid. Second uncommon, Liliana's Defeat. Third uncommon, a Braid, one of the best uh, uncommon removal spells in the format. And our first rare, <laughs> God, of course, Dejeru with Eyes Open. Uh, this card is just not very good. Sorry, folks. And a forest. All right. Well, lackluster first pack, but uh, hopefully we get some goodies here in the next few packs. Kenra Scrapper. Good good common for sure. I, I think a very high pick. Another common that I will first pick. 2-3 Menace, and then you can exert to give a plus 2 plus 0. Proven Combatant. Mummy Paramount. Beneath the Sands. Lurching Rot Beast. Manalith. Thorn Moloch, without weakness. Not a huge fan of this card, but does cycle. Cunning Survivor is fine, not amazing. Desert of the Mindful. Ah, another Sunset Pyramid for our second uncommon. Razaketh's Right. Burning Fist Minotaur, and our second rare. Ooh, Nimble Obstructionist. 3-1 Flash Flying. Has cycling for three, and when you cycle it, counter target activated, triggered, or, or triggered ability. Yeah, it's a fine card, not amazing. And a uh, forest, full art, all right. I have seen better. Pack number three, Solitary Camel again, Disposal Mummy, another Open Fire, Frilled Sandwalla, very good common. We've seen lots of iterations of this card before, and I think it's still just a nice one. Lethal Sting, one of the best black commons in the set for if you're playing draft or sealed. Um, yeah, just very good removal. This is another very good one, Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs, another card that has synergy with deserts. Uh, it's an 0-4 wall that you can ping people with, so that's nice. Another Cunning Survivor, Survivor's Encampment, different type of desert. Dejeru's Renunciation, not a very big fan of that card. Thorn Moloch again. Manticore Eternal as our first uncommon, a very good card. This is highly first pickable in a draft, does a lot of work. Sun Scourge Champion, another good uncommon. Riddle form as our last uncommon, and a Ram it Up Excavator. Alright, so this is the uh, Crucible of Worlds on a creature. It's a good card for sure. Three mana for a 2-3. Uh, it works really well with all of like the Desert Cycling cards. It works with um, Evolving Wilds, so not a bad card in Draft or Sealed at all. Pack number four. I'm hoping to get some Masterpieces or Inventions or whatever they're called. Frontline Devastator, good common. Another Unquenchable Thirst, Solitary Camel, Grizzly Survivor, Ambuscade, one of the best green commons, probably the best green common, solid removal, Moaning Wall, another Cunning Survivor, Traveler's Amulet, Survivor's Encampment, Gift of Strength, Cursed Horde, boom, Fervent Paincaster, really good uncommon, Saving Grace, interesting one, and boom, <laughs> gosh, Abandoned Sarcophagus, Sarcophagus. our rares have not been very good, if you watch the uh, Modern Masters box I opened, that pet, but that... Fox was crazy good value. Disposal Mummy, Kenra Scrapper, Tragic Lesson, Lethal Sting, another Ambuscade, Grizzly Survivor, Unsummon. It's very good in the format, actually. Unsummon is the Black Desert, Desert of the Glorified, another Manolith, Thorn Moloch, Unconventional Tactics. This is a pretty sweet zombie card, payoff card, uh, in Drafter Sealed if you're playing the zombie deck. It's kind of interesting. Target creature gets plus three plus three and gains flying until end of turn. And then whenever an em a zombie enters the battlefield under your control, you can pay a white to return it from, uh, from your graveyard to your hand. Another riddle form. Claim to fame, and boom. Bantu's Last Reckoning, the one of the uh, cycle of spells that don't let you untap your lands on the next untap phase, so kind of cool. Alrighty, what do we got here? Spellweaver Eternal, Dauntless Aven. This is a very good white common. Firebrand Archer, Sidewinder Naga, Kenra Eternal. Wow, all of these five commons I just opened, I don't think we've seen any of them yet. 
Vampaging Hippo, Scrounger of Souls, Defiant Kenra, Dejeru's Renunciation, Unsummon, another Sunset Pyramid, I think that's three of them now. Doomfall, it's a good, uh, good uncommon for black. Doom Diviner, and an Endless Sands. Ah, well, this box is kind of a letdown thus far. But we still have a lot of packs to go, my friends, so no worries, no worries. We'll get something good, I'm sure. Unquenchable Thirst, Mummy Paramount, Kindled Fury, Moaning Wall, Bitter, Blow Sharp, Bitter Bow Sharpshooters, good, good uncommon, or common rather. Just 4-4 four, four Vigilance Reach for 5. Torment of Venom, Graven Abomination, Steadfast Sentinel, Feral Prowler, Supreme Will is our first uncommon. Appeal to our authority is the, actually the card I spoiled for this set. Uh, fine. Saving Grace. And a Champion of Wits. Another pretty poor pack. Hey, we did got, we got our first foil, Steadfast Sentinel. 2-3 Vigilance for 4, Eternalize for 6. Well, at least, uh, at least we're getting some shiny cards, if nothing else. I love that sound and that smell. <sighs> yeah, Sandblast, Firebrand Archer, Avon Reed Stalker, Frilled Sandwalla, Torment of Venom, Sidewinder Naga, Life Goes On, Traveler's Amulet, Granitic Titan, Desert of the Indomitable, another Sunset Pyramid. What the heck? That's like our fourth. Torment of Scarabs, a braid. Okay, nice. And an Hour of Promise. Uh, uh, nothing to say here. I tried playing Hour of Promise in one of my drafts. Did not work very well, although I didn't have the requisite number of uh, deserts, or a, a large number anyways. Disposal Mummy, Even and Enduring Hope, Countervailing Winds, Torment of Venom, Harrier Naga, Wretched Camel, Ruin Rat, Steadfast Sentinel, Desert of the True, Life Goes On, Mrs. Defeat is our first uncommon. Ooh, here we go, Ominous Sphinx, this is a bomb for sure. 4-4 four, four Flyer for 5. Whenever you cycle or discard a card, target creature and opponent controls gets minus 2, minus 0 oh until end of turn. Very high play in draft or sealed. Another claim to fame. <laughs> and a hostile desert. Wow. This is uh, this is what we call the old poop soup, my friends. The old poop soup. Alright, Dauntless Avon. Firebrand Archer. Aerial Guide. One of Blue's best commons. 2-2 two, two flyer for 3. Whenever it attacks, another target attacking creature gains flying until end of turn. Great card. Carrion Screecher, Frilled Sandwalla, Encampment, A Catcher's Avenger, Thorn Moloch, Without Weakness, Strategic Planning, Angel of the God Pharaoh, another Liliana's Defeat, another Braid, and our first Mythic, Naheb the Eternal, 5 mana for a 4-6 Afflict 3. Afflict is a new ability in this format, uh, and so whenever this creature becomes blocked, defending player loses 3 life. So whatever the Afflict cost is, or whatever the Afflict number is, that's how much life the opponent loses. And then at the beginning of your post-combat main phase, add red to your mana pool for each one life your opponents have lost this turn. So, you attack with Neheb, if they block, they take three damage. In your second main phase, you get three red floating. Pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know about constructed playability, but hey, it's a mythic if nothing else. Finally on the board. Solitary Camel, Open Fire, Countervailing Winds, Harrier Naga, Lurching Rot Beast, Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs. Defiant Kenra, Scoundrel of Souls, Dejeru's Renunciation, First Uncommon and Imaginary Threats, Struggle to Survive, Doom Diviner, and An Hour of Devastation, the namesake of the set. All creatures lose indestructible until that turn. It deals 5 damage to each creature and each non Bolas Planeswalker. And a fo oh no, my foil rare is a Scavenger Grounds? <sighs> ah, that's all I have to say about that. I can, you can go home, folks. There's nothing else to see here. That's not true. That's not true. We'll get some good ones. Blur of Blades, Avon Reed Stalker, Mummy Paramount, Lethal Sting, Beneath the Sands, Granitic Titan, Seer of the Last Tomorrow, Desert of the Fervent, God Pharaoh's Faithful, Bloodwater Entity. It's a good uncommon. This is Defeat, Shafet Dunes, and well, come on, Scavenger Grounds. Get out of my life. And a foil riddle form. Man. Man alive, I say. Man alive. Closing in on probably half half the box so far, maybe? Mummy Paramount, Kindled Fury, Spellweaver Eternal, Oasis Ritualist, Kenra Eternal, 
Rampaging Hippo, Feral Prowler, Desert of the Indomitable, Graven Abomination, Strike River Winder, Crook of Condemnation, Struggle to Survive, Devotee of Strength, and Oketra's Last Mercy. Junkie, Junkie, Junkie. Again, one of the cycles of cards that don't let your lands untap. <sighs> Puncturing Blow, Proven Combatant, Dauntless Aven, Frilled Sandwalla, Lurching Rot Beast, Unsummon, Desert of the Mindful, Nana Lith, Thorn Moloch, Without Weakness, Resolute Survivors, our first uncommon great card. Hashep Oasis, Eternal of Harsh Truths, Amit Eternal. 5-5 five, five for 3, a flip 3. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a 1-1 counter on it. And then whenever an Amid Eternal deals combat damage to a player, remove all 1-1 one, one counters from it. So, good card. Not sure if it'll see constructed play, but it is a 3-mana 5-5. Five, five. Very hard to beat on turn 3 in Draft or Sealed. Aerial Guide, Dutiful Servants, Frontline Devastator, Grizzly Survivor, Ambuscade, Gift of Strength, Crash Through, Strategic Planning, Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs, Desert of the Glorified, Merciless Eternal, our first uncommon. Good card. Fervent Paincaster, another very good uncommon. Chefette Dunes, and a Chaos Maw. This is a limited bomb. 7 mana 6 6. When it enters the battlefield, it deals 3 damage to each other creature. Don't pass this. Card is great. Okay. Balances. Not even an invocation or whatever. Come on, let's go. Dutiful Servants, Frontline Devastator, Unquenchable Thirst, Ronus' Stalwart, Lethal Sting, Scrounger of Souls, Defiant Kenra, Renunciation, Cunning Survivor, Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs, Jace's Defeat, our first uncommon, Sand Strangler. So here's the Flame Tongue Kavu of the format. 3-3 three, three for 4, when it enters the battlefield, if you control a desert or there's a desert card in your graveyard, you may have it deal 3 damage to target creature. Very high pickup. One of the reasons uh, to pick up deserts and the desert payoff card. And Angel of Condemnation. Good bomb. Don't think it's going to see any constructed play, but surely a limited staple. And that's the end of that pack. Alright, Proven Combatant, Aven of Enduring Hope, Blur of Blades, Frilled Sandwalla, Lethal Sting, Beneath the Sands, Granitic Titan, Desert of the Fervent, Seer of Last Tomorrow, Another Resolute Survivors, Cory Beetle, Vizier of the Anointed, and a Reason to Believe. You know, I thought this card was uncommon. That sucks. <laughs> and a foil open fire. Oh boy. Oh boy. Aven Reed Stalker, Frontline Devastator, Unquenchable Thirst, Marauding Bone Slasher, Bitter Bow Sharpshooters, Wretched Camel, Striped Riverwinder, Ruin Rat, Steadfast Sentinels, Desert of the True, Doomfall, Inferno Jet. This card is sweet. Six mana, deals six damage to target opponent. Cycling for two. Emily, this is a card you would like. Desert's Hold, another good pacifism effect. And Apocalypse Demon, this card is jank. Yeah, that card's bad. Don't play that card. Proven Combatant, Dauntless Aven, Blur of Blades, Carrion Screecher, Oasis Ritualist, A Catcher's Avenger, Crash Through, Traveler's Amulet, Strategic Planning, Survivor's Encampment, Farm to Market, Consigned to Oblivion. Can we go three for three on uh, Aftermath cards? No, we cannot. Ramanap Runes and an Hour of Eternity. This one's pretty sweet. Three blue XX Exile tar X target creature cards from your graveyard. For each card exiled this way, create a token that's a copy of that card, except it's a 4 4 black zombie. So if you say, for example, it turn or exile a sacred cat with this, then you get a 4-4 four, four lifelinker. Remember, it just copies everything about the card except it's black and it's a 4-4. Four, four. Kindled Fury, Aerial Guide, Active Heroism, Oasis Ritualist, Kenra Eternal, Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs, Desert of the Glorified, Scrounder of Souls, Defiant Kenra, Dejero's Renunciation, Angel of the God Pharaoh, Sinuous Striker, If Near Deadlands, boom! Torment of Hellfire. Two black X. Repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices an online permanent or discards a card. When it says repeat, though, if you pay zero for X, it doesn't do anything. Just to note. To note for people out there, because it's a little bit awkward wording. It says repeat, but really it just means do this X number of times. So if X is zero, well, then you do it zero times. 
Aven of Enduring Hope, Blur of Blades, Aerial Guide, Marauding Bone Slasher, Beneath the Sands, Moaning Wall, Seer of the Last Tomorrow, Desert of the Fervent, God Pharaoh's Faithful, Gilded Ceradon, Ragazaketh's Right, Tenacious Hunter, Dunes of the Dead, and a Dream Stealer. I don't know what to think about this card. It's powerful effect, but man, it is so weak. The fact that you can eternalize it later makes it probably better than I'm giving it credit for, but not a huge fan of the Dream Stealer. Never been very impressed. Looks like we have about nine packs left, if I'm counting right. Maybe 12 tops. Disposal Mummy, Kenra Scrapper, Tragic Lesson, Kenra Eternal, Harrier Naga, Wretched Camel, Desert Indomitable, Life Goes On, Ruin Rat, excuse me, Hope Tender, Hashup Oasis, Consigned to Oblivion, a very good split um, Aftermath card, and hey, a Locust God, all right, there's another Mythic for us, our first being the, uh, what was it, Nahed? So 4-4 four, four for 4 blue, red, flying. Whenever you draw a card, create a 1-1 one, one blue and red insect creature token with flying in haste. Activate ability of 4, draw a card, discard a card, which conveniently gives you a 1-1 one, one flying with haste. And then when it dies, return, to it, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. Haven't had the chance to play with this in limited yet, but all of the gods are complete bombs. And a foil granitic titan. All right. Locust god is kind of cool. Now give me a Masterpiece. Spellweaver Eternal, Dutiful Servants, Puncturing Blow, Sidewinder Naga, Kenra Eternal, Rampaging Hippo, Gilded Ceradon, Feral Prowler, Desert of the Indomitable, Graven Abomination, Chandra's Defeat, Unraveling Mummy, we haven't seen this one yet, good Mummy Synergy card. Tenacious Hunter, Leave to Chance. Ah. <sighs> Yes, okay, well, let's just, let's just go into the next pack, because, friends, that is, that is, that is not a good rare. Open Fire, Countervailing Winds, Sandblast, Carrion Screecher, Sidewinder Naga, Marauding Bone Slasher, Gilded Ceradon, Ruin Rat, Desert of the True, Striped River Winder, Crypt of the Eternals, Merciless Eternal, Vizier of the Anointed, <laughs> and a Hollow One. Cycling payoff crappy dirtle poop card. Alright, next up, Act of Heroism, Puncturing Blow, Proven Combatant, Ambuscade, Grizzly Survivor, Bitter Bow Sharpshooters, Crash Through, Aketra's Avenger, Strategic Planning, Desert of the Glorified, River, whoop -hoo. This card is sweet. 1-3 for 2, has flying. You pay five, you gain two life and draw a card. Desert's Hold, Eternal of Harsh Truths, Hour of Revelation. Destroy all non-land permanents. It's a cool idea. It's a cool idea. All right, I think we have eight more packs to go to get some sicko rares. Aerial Guide, Act of Heroism, Kenra Scrapper, Moaning Wall, Bitterbow Sharpshooters, Torment of Venom, Unsummon, Gift of Strength, Manalith, Desert of the Mindful, Bloodwater Entity, Another Sand Strangler, Vizier of the True, and a Ramanap Hydra. Another payoff card when you have deserts and a desert in your graveyard. Very strong. Even as a 3 3 for 4, it's got Vigilance, Reach, and Trample, so limited all star. And a land. Well, we're getting down to the bottom dredges of this box here, my friends. Sandblast, Archer. Reed Stalker, Sidewinder Naga, Marauding Bone Slasher, Oasis Ritualist, Renunciation, Unsummon, Desert of the Glorified, Manalith, Gideon's Defeat, Sinuous Striker, Inferno Jet, ooh, another mythic, Overwhelming Splendor. This is the uh, humility for enchant player. Eight mana, creatures enchanted player controls, lose all abilities and have base power, one in, uh, base power and toughness one and one. Enchanted player can't activate abilities that aren't mana abilities or loyalty abilities. Cool card. Cool card. Not going to see any play anywhere, but cool card. Disposal Mummy, Kenra Scrapper, Tragic Lesson, Torment of Venom, Sidewinder Naga, Lethal Sting, Ruin Rat, Steadfast Sentinel, Life Goes On, Granitic Titan, Magmaroth, Ramanap Ruins, Vile Manifestation, and a Refuse to Cooperate. This box is just refusing to cooperate, if I'm going to just be honest with you guys. Oh, wow. You know what? This box is deeper than I thought. We still have eight packs or so. All right. All right. Whatever. 
Countervailing Winds, Sand Blast, Kindled Fury, Beneath the Sands, Grizzly Survivor, Ambuscade, Granitic Titan, Seer of the Last Tomorrow, Desert of the Fervent, God Bears Faithful, Appeal to Authority, Overcome, our very first, the bad overrun, five mana creatures you control get plus two plus two and gain trample until end of turn, Dunes of the Dead, Grind to Dust, good card in Limited, good card in Limited, that's, that's all I have to say about that. All right, Firebrand Archer, Solitary Camel, Disposal Mummy, Moaning Wall, Ambuscade, Alcatra's Avenger, Gift of Strength, Crash Through, Strategic Planning, Sifterworm, very, very good uncommon, 7-7 seven, seven Trample. When it enters the battlefield, scry three, then reveal the top card of your library. You gain life, equal that card's converted mana cost. It's like a mini Palaka Worm. Crook of Condemnation, Vile Manifestation, Kefnet's Last Word. Gain control of target artifact, creature, or enchantment. Lands you control, don't untap during your next untap step. And a foil vizier of the true. Okay. Last six packs here for sure. Last six packs. Five, six the way. Through Frontline Devastator, Tragic Lesson, Aven Enduring Hope, Stalwart, Survivor, Hippo, Seer, Desert, Faithful, Prowler, Steward of Solidarity. Don't, don't think we've gotten any one of these yet. Very good uncommon two drop. Makes you, uh, or lets you build your board up pretty quickly. Supreme Will, Obelisk Spider, and a Mirage Mirror. This card is very sweet. Three to cast, two to activate. It becomes a copy of target artifact, creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. So, kind of cool. Just forget, you can't activate it the same turn. Um that you play it and attack with it if it copies a creature, because it still has summoning sickness. Sandblast, Firebrand Archer, Aven Reed Stalker, Lurching Rot Beast, Frilled Sandwalla, Without Weakness, Cunning Survivor, Traveler's Amulet, Survivor's Encampment, Gift of Strength, Unconventional Tactics, another Ominous Sphinx, Claim to Fame, and an Unesh Cryo Sphinx Sovereign. I think the folks from the Command Zone revealed this card. Another Mythic, not very good though. Not very good. Four packs. Can Daddy just get an inv invocation one time, please? Solitary Camel, Open Fire, Countervailing Winds, Moaning Wall, Ambuscade, Carrion Screecher, God Pharaoh's Faithful, Striped River Rinder, Gilded Ceridon, Crypt of the Eternals, Farm to Market, Devotee of Strength, and an Hour of Glory. Poor Ronus dying to the Scorpion God on this card. Rest in peace. Foil Mountain. Three packs left. Three packs left, my friends. Dauntless Haven. Blur of Blades. Aven Reed Stalker. Mummy Paramount. Lurching Rod Beast. Stalwart. Sentinel. Desert of the Fervent. Feral Prowler. Bloodwater Entity. Nissa's Defeat. If Near Bat. Deadlands. And an Imminent Doom. Uh, doom. Card is very bad. Foil gift of strength. All right, at least we got a foil. Two packs left. Two packs left. Please, one time. Dauntless Aven, Blur of Blades, Unquenchable Thirst, Dutiful Servants, Harrier Naga, Camel, Desert, Rat, Life Goes On, Titan, Jace's Defeat, River of Hoopu, Dune Diviner. Here it is. Here it is. Come on. Two green sorcery, create a 5-4 green snake token creature. Lands you control, don't untap during your next untap step. Powerful, very sure. Two mana for a 5-4, but steep downside and still not an invocation. All right, the box is empty. The last pack has been picked up, is now being opened. This is the one, ladies and gentlemen. Frontline Devastator. Tragic Lesson. Aven. Archer. Stalwart. Rock Beast, Abomination, Sentinel, Desert of the True, Life Goes On, our first uncommon, Hope Tender, Dagger of the Worthy, Torment of Scarabs, okay, please, ah! <laughs> Resilient Kenra, oh boy, friends, well, this is a good card for sure, but uh, seems like the box overall was a little bit of a letdown. That's all 36 packs.
Thanks for watching this hour of Devastation unboxing. There will be more unboxings on this channel. Don't forget to follow. Thanks for watching.